Dad, if I'm okay, really, I should be the one taking care of you. No, no, come on. Let me do this for my little girl. Oh, yeah. You already made me pancakes. <sighs> Wait till you taste my frittata. <laughs> ow! Okay, ow! Natalie packs a mean punch. Yeah, I know. When Buchanan's hit each other, it hurts. Mm. Jesse, I have to tell you something and you're not gonna like it. What is it? After I refused Brody my blessing on the phone, he came over to ask for it in person. You sent him packing, right? No. Actually, I gave him the nod. Stupidly thinking that it would uh, make things better between you and your sister. I'm sorry, honey. No, it's okay. You did what you thought was right. Fine. Tell me what I can do to make it better. How can I help you, Jess? Okay, I am beyond amazed. How, how did you get Dad's blessing? How in the world did you swing that? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay. I told Clint that giving us his blessing would be the only way for you and Jessica to start to make peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I guess when he takes one look at Jessica's face and what I did to it, he's... Probably gonna change his mind. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have that blessing for too much longer, but... Na Natalie, just, just try to give it some time, okay? Your family's gonna come around. I hear congratulations are in order. As well as a lot of aspirin, huh? that you and Jessica actually hit each other. She has a black guy, you're in a neck brace. How did this happen? It's my fault. Brody, no. No, it's okay. I'm very sorry for all these problems that I've caused between Natalie and Jessica, but I want you to know I love Natalie. We love each other. I know. Same way that you and Jessica used to love each other. Do you have any idea how hard this is for her? Mom, that's all we've been thinking about. We never meant to hurt Jessica. All we want is to have a family with our son. I know it's a difficult situation. Oh, yes, it is. All right, Mom, go ahead. Just say it. You think this is all my fault. You know what? I don't want to know. Forget it. No point in hearing you lie to me again. I'm not lying there is another david vickers oh okay and you're dating him now is that the way it is uh, no no of course not he's my dog i, I named him david vickers because it suited him until he she gave birth to a litter of puppies whatever no fine whatever to you David Vickers! Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I left you alone here all this time. I... David Vickers? H honey, where are you? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Tina, what is it? What's wrong? She's gone! David Vickers is gone! Where could she be? I mean, she was kidnapped once before. She was. I mean, what if it's happening again? Uh, Tina, don't get all bent out of shape here. Maybe Vicky or Clint let him out of the carrier. I don't know. Where? It's a big house, Tina. I, I tell you what, I'll go look for him upstairs, and then you can look for him down here, okay? Okay. Okay. Tina, relax. We're going to find him. Her. I just want to make sure that you know what you're doing, okay? This is not about blame. Sorry, I have to go. Todd Manning's escaped jail. Look, I'll see you soon. Okay. I hope we can all get past this. Yeah. Great. Uncle Todd has escaped from jail. Doesn't he know that this is making it harder on himself? 
I'm sure that there's more to the story. There always is. And not just with Uncle Todd. I'm sure you took one look at Jessica's face and thought that my Atlantic City roots were coming back to haunt you. Oh, honey. No, I wasn't very happy when I saw her face, but now I see what she did to you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Did you read the style magazines? I mean, these are all the rage. Natalie, stop it. Honey, I love you. I am worried about you. Mom, I'm okay. Except for the fact that Jessica hates me. And I hate the fact that I'm tearing her up. No, I don't particularly like the position I'm in either, having to be between you two. I don't know. I don't want you to be. I just... I don't know what to do. I know. But something has to be done. There's just been too much divisiveness in the family lately. I do not want it to happen with my children. I know. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, is this really what you want? To marry the man who was supposed to marry your sister? I'm just trying to make a life with Brody. You know, Jessica ran out on him at the altar, and then John ran out on me, and we just... Brody and I picked up the pieces together with our son. Yeah, well, it's not as simple as that. But it kind of is that simple, you know? I just... I, I'm trying to find a little bit of happiness, and I've got it with Brody. You know? I, mean, I moved out of my home to be with him. And now Dad's mad at me, and um, I've lost my sister. Am I going to lose you, too? No, oh, you're already helping by being my dad. You're my dad, and you always will be, right? Of course I will, sweetheart. Where's this coming from? Oh, Clint, have you seen... Aunt Tina. Oh, uh, hello. Jessica? Yes, it's Jessica. What are you doing here? She's here to fill that bag with her dead brother's money. That's not true. This is the carrier from my dog. And David Vickers is missing. Oh, we haven't seen him. Her. You know, I I'm just scared that maybe she went down to the basement and got herself locked in that secret room. The room's gone, Tina. We tore it down. Oh, I that is a great idea. I mean, especially since you were going to blow up your sister down there. And that was Tess. Neither of us have seen your dog. Then where could she be? Look, I, I, I gotta find her. David Vickers! David Vickers! No, darling. You will never, ever lose me. Ever. Okay? Mom, Brody and I love each other, and we have a, a beautiful son. And what about John McBain? Damn it, Tina. Oh, how many hope I had of and I getting back together died the day he discovered he wasn't Liam's father. Oh my God. 